Alright, well it's uh, technically January the 22nd, it's uh, after midnight, um, so it's been about two weeks since my treatment, uh, PRP treatment, um, for uh, the infraspinatus, uh, teres minor, teres major, uh, also possibly the amylohyoid and uh, posterior delt, uh, maybe the, the middle delt as well. Um, and my quadratus lumporum, which is a muscle which you can't see, but it's uh, in the lower back. And so, um, just reporting in, uh, Dr. Fullerton, for some reason, doesn't want me to get really any soft tissue work except for dry needling um, until like three or four weeks out. So, um, I have these knots and ropiness in my muscles, which is painful and uh, I can't do anything about it, so that has been very annoying. It's like an itch that I can't scratch, so I don't... It makes me wonder if I'm actually going to see, or if, if I'm seeing any improvements, if this treatment actually addressed anything, but uh, I have to remind myself that usually what happens is that I get the treatment, and I don't, you know, it kind of returns to the way it used to feel, and then I get uh, because the muscles are tight, because that's the way that they uh, always are, that's the way they always have been, but once I get them to release, then they stay released, and then the pain is no longer an issue. So, uh, I've already booked my massage appointment, and that's going to be in like another two weeks. Uh, to be honest though, I might um, uh, cheat, I guess, and do cupping uh, this up and coming week. I did uh, cupping after two weeks, or a couple days, I think, even, uh, last time, and it seemed to work. I don't know why Dr. Fullerton has changed his mind on the timeline of when I can get what. A uh, uh, little weird stuff. Uh, I've noticed changes. Uh, I sneezed, and my jaw cracked, and, like, a real, just the side of the jaw, not this side, but just the side, which is the side that I've been working on, it cracked, and it felt really weird afterwards for a good five minutes like that just like ah ow like something happened significant um so hopefully that was a good thing uh also my hamstrings have been uh suddenly like really tightening up when uh, standing up from from the couch or something like that uh which i guess is basically a squat um suddenly the part of the hamstring that's like right underneath my glute like right below it is uh, suddenly it just feels like it's tightening up tightening into a ball um, kind of weird uh, so maybe now that my QL is is working more um, my uh, hammy is working more um, sadly it again hasn't been addressed so I can't say but it seems that certain things in my hip don't feel uh, right still. A certain stretch, like basically kind of uh, like bending over like this, it's still stretching this side, it still kind of stretch hurts uh, right around my hip. So that might be the TFL, I'm not sure. Interesting thing, TFL, you know, connects with the uh, peroneus longus through fascia, and um, my peroneus longus has definitely had some issues. Um, I really messed up the ankle on that side, on that leg, uh, in soccer, uh, tore a lot of ligaments, and I don't think they all completely healed. Apparently that ankle is loosey-goosey, is the technical term the physical therapist used to describe it, but um, I don't know what to, if maybe my hip issue is, pain is stemming from my ankle worst thing or crazier things you know have been the case uh, but my lower back is definitely feeling better and different and it's making my leg feel different more more a uh, glute or ham activation so uh, I'm encouraged by that uh, one thing that really hampered me with deadlifts is pain on my back with my QL and stuff on on this side and I think it was because this side had to overcompensate because this side wasn't working at all so now this side is working, yeah, I'm doing physical therapy now, it's been over two weeks, so doing a lot of, like, you know, 
external rotation stuff. Also, just trying the proud posture where I, you know, pull down, pull down my scapula, make a proud chest. And uh, as I'm doing, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt like it hurt before. So change is good. Change is better. Um, really looking forward to see how I feel after uh, the m massage and the cupping because when I had the cupping after the massage this before the last treatment I felt pain free absolutely completely normal for like three days and it was glorious and then it kind of came back it didn't come back as bad as it was before the treatment so you know b before the massage and before the, the cupping but it did come back some so um, we'll see uh, I feel good uh, hopeful about this um, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely see but uh, I'm starting to be a little more active like I said doing physical therapy and uh, maybe in about a week or so going to start doing more um, of the functional exercises that I was doing like uh, overhead lift or overhead press uh, bench press uh, start doing more Indian club swinging my flailing my arms around uh, stuff um, so we'll see how that goes um, it's I don't feel as awesome as I have before because I haven't gotten the soft tissue released like I have in the past so um, we'll see I'm excited and nervous uh, we'll see how I feel I guess in another two weeks. Um, this is Adam signing off.